Grant is a car salesman and V8 man. How did you end up providing feed for farmers in distress? Well, Rob, it was a, um, a, the short story is, I'd seen how bad it was up in North Canterbury and um, how they'd had a really hard time. And speaking to one of the guys at my son's rugby game, one of the farmers, um, he explained to me what was happening up there and I thought, crikey, we, we've got to help somehow. And um, I just thought, well, if I had sort of four bales at home and a few others had four bales, we could gather it together and, and get maybe, you know, 50 or 60 bales up for the boys. And um, it went from 50 or 60 bales through to now, I think we've got 477 bales to offer to the North Canterbury farmers. So, yeah, it's gathered some momentum. And it's now gone absolutely totally viral. Viral, yeah, it really has. And that's, um, that's thanks to Jesse. Um, Jesse, my, my, one of our teammates at work, he's gone on Facebook and advised everybody what's been happening. And um, it's been one of those farmer help farmer scenarios. Like the guys have gone out of their way throughout the North Island and the South Island to help their fellow farmers in North Canterbury. Um, yeah, pretty neat to see. Great, we've got flooding in the North Island, we've got snow in the South Island, and yet it's still happening. People are still wanting to help those drought people. That's true. The, um, we had a phone call just this morning from one of the guys from uh, Whanganui that was, um, he'd, he'd given us three unit loads, uh, which was very generous. And um, he called up and said, Grant, he said, you've heard what's happened. I said, understand. He said, but I'll still try to get one unit down and I'll pay for it. So he was going to do donate and pay for shipping. So, yeah, the, the generosity from the farming community is phenomenal to their mates. The transport industry, they're backing up and doing their bit as well. They are the transport industry. All the people that deal with these farmers and the transport companies, you know, I can't mention them all because there's so many, that they've really come out to assist. And the likes of the um, any farming company has really come to help. So that, they're going great to see. And I understand, Grant, that, and you've got some figures, I understand, about the amount of stock that's been shifted out of the North Canterbury drought affected area. That's true that the, um, and don't quote me exactly, but there was something like 12,000 went out last week, and some were to the works and some were to be relocated, but a lot of this is capital stock for the farmers too, and um, for the capital stock to go now, it just, it makes it real hard for the next three to four years for these guys. So, again, I'm just a townie, but I can, I can feel the pain. It is interesting that you're a townie helping the farmers. Oh, yeah, there's um, a few friends in the farming business and um, so, you know, to, to help them is, is um, something that, you know, it doesn't take too much for me to sort of gather a bit of, uh, bit of momentum and um, so it's the least I can do to help them out. You're talking about the odd bale here and there, you're talking just under 500 and also five tonnes of barley I saw on your list. That's true, well it's actually up to 20 tonnes of barley. Um, we took 10 tonnes up two weeks ago thanks to the South Canterbury farmers, they donated that. Um, a great crew down there, and now we've been gifted another 10 tonne, which is about to be picked up. So, you know, there's 20 tonne, and it'll, it'll be further than that as well. Um, one thing I like to say to, the, to, our, to us being town folk, it's like someone giving their car away. Um, 48 bales at $100 a bale, $4,800. That's like giving a small car to your neighbour and not wanting it back. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Grant, it is cool, because you just don't see it in another part of an industry, do you? No. No, definitely not, and, and um, no, definitely not in our industry. It'd be a different kettle of fish, that's for sure. But um, now that the farming community have just yeah, they've pulled in phenomenal, and um, they everyone needs a good pat on the back, that's for sure. And now here's your chance for a commercial because I think you and Donna have deserved one. But these these Isuzu's they're pretty right, pretty right, aren't they? That's true. Yeah, like my uh, my sister who, who runs our Isuzu program and. Uh, she said, Grant, you better sell some utes because you're wasting, we're not wasting, you're using a lot of time doing this. I said, well, the DMAX are a great ute. I'm sure the farmers will come on board and buy a couple from us. And you don't have to have a deposit? No deposit, no deposit. $399 every month and uh, no deposit, so that's neat. And that's, that's getting you back on side with Donna? Absolutely, yeah. Well, a little bit back on side anyway. So. But seriously, she wouldn't mind for a moment that you're helping farmers? No, not, not at all. Um, you know, again, our, on a commercial basis, the farmers are, are good customers of ours and have been for many, many years in the jet boating fraternity um, and in the um, utes and the trucks, the Chevrolet trucks as well. So, yeah, j just this little bit of time, again, just to join the hands together, that's all I'm doing. Um, I, I don't mind that at all. You're so, giving back? We're giving back, yeah. Well, the, again, I, I guess stepping back, is when the earthquakes happened here, 
Um, the farmers were the first to come and help all of Christchurch. They bought their trucks, tractors, they bought everything down and they spent weeks here. And um, you may recall they were flying food um, into Christchurch and all the farming community were making you know, sandwiches and pies and everything and bringing that in for the team here. So um, it's, it's the least we can do to pay back.